Okay, I promised some um, detailed um, viewing on my clays, on my tiny, tiny clays. This is Sharma. Um, she came in a little jar. Oh, she's exquisite. Hold on. Excuse my hands because I've got bits of paint on. She's extraordinarily tiny. And I love that look on her face. It's like nobody loves me. She was holding um, a cloth. And I've actually, I'm in the process of making her a little teddy or a wand. Um, I felt sorry for her. <laughs> so let's have a look at the details. So she's got like a little bracelet thing on her legs. Look at the little details on her little green toenails. Look. My little pixie fairy. And look at that face. Can you see that? Hold on. Such exquisite artwork and paintwork. Absolutely beautiful. She's gorgeous. Look at her. And the way the hair's been done as well. And, and, and this, this is also clay. Um, and you can see the beautiful glitter. It's very difficult to try and catch it in the sun. I don't like putting my clays in the sun for long. She's got this gorgeous glittery sheen on her. It's just got little pixie ears. I'll try and show you one. And I, I just love her face. Excuse my hands, I just, I can't get the paint off at the moment. And then we've got the back and she's got like the little bow that looks like wings and, and, oh, ugh. and I love clays because they're, you know, the oak ones are pretty, you know, they're hand free. They're not, this is hand free. This has not been done, um, via a mold or anything. It's completely done by the artist and, you know, all their love and attention and, and imagination and feelings go into making this one piece of artwork and um, they are so unique um, and I love clays so um, and I will always collect clays I even like big clays but they don't come up that often so this is Sharma um, and I believe that she has another one on at the moment um, I'm going to give you her details, but you know, guys, let me know what you think. She's exquisite, isn't she? And she's really unusual. She's, I've never seen one like her. Um, and she, this is the eighth clay that, um, that Jamie Biz has made. So, um, she's number eight. I did have another one of hers. That had long blonde hair and she was gorgeous but I don't have her now because my best friend's got her and <laughs> um, she's supposed to bring her up every now and then so I can look at her but she hasn't yet so I need to remind her but this is Sharma and Sharma has been done she is number eight a certificate of authenticity um, she's only just started doing this so and she's jammy biz now, but when you want to look her up on eBay, oh, I don't like them in the sun. When you want to look them up on eBay, you're looking for 49 Jammy Biz. 49 Jammy Biz. And that is Sharma, who's made this, this little girl. Now, my, some of my new clays. This is Georgie Porgy. Oh my god. Look at him. Let's get focused. Look at this baby. Look at that. And he is perfect, guys. He is just perfect. Look at those tiny and rudy parts. But look how well that's been done. The creases are in the right place, the positioning, everything is perfect. And look at his semi-smiley face. He's happy and he's content. Such 
beautiful, beautiful pieces of artwork. Absolutely stunning. And again, they're not done by mould. These are freehand. And look, you don't have that horrible flat mould. You've got that, you've got a beautiful little bum bum. I'm sorry if you're you're offended by parts, but you know, this is a, a piece of work and I want to show it all. So this is George and he is just to die for. Every time I look at him, I just smile. I just, and I wonder what was going through the artist's mind when she created this amazing little boy. You know, because he, he looks so content, doesn't he? He really does. And she, she has one up at the moment on eBay and I'm sort of so tempted and my husband's like we can't afford it and I'm so tempted to get her and she's got open eyes and she is fantastic um, I'm not going to talk about her anymore you'll have to go and have a look because I've got to not do it but this is George and he's got like all his little hands are curled up he's all snuggy and, and oh look I do kiss him a lot and the nose, can you imagine what it must have took to get these tiny features so accurate? I mean, even trying to, you know, keep him in focus because he's so small. But he's, he's got a fair weight to him. You know, he's, he's, you know, just because he's clay and just because, you know, he's not, he's, his arms aren't moving. I'll still give him a cuddle, mummy does. So this is Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy is gorgy. Look at him. How can you not love that? How can you not love that? How can you not? Oh, he is just... I am so proud to own a piece of her work. And I'm going to show you another piece of her work now, which was bought for my birthday from my partner. And I'm really hanging in there and hoping she's going to do more like this. But there's Georgie Porgy. I know you want to know who made him. I'll tell you in a minute. Now... And I have, this is my Joshua, this is Joshua, how fantastic is he, just look at this baby, now I think it's better if I don't keep him in the sun, I don't want to put him down Ah, better detail. Hold on, let me just get George because I don't want to miss his details. Georgie Porgy pudding and pie is the apple of mummy's eye. And he lovely guys. Okay, this is Joshua. This is my new little baby boy. He's so cute. And she's made she's made the all the clothing for him as well. Not even joking. And guys, her box opening <gasps> is absolutely stunning. And she made a little bed for him. But I, since I've ordered a new carry cot and it's arrived, but I do use the um, the little cushion for him as well. So the box opening was to die for. But then when you get to this little lad, and I haven't told you everything yet, he's got a tiny, tiny little body, dosway body, so I can actually move his arms and legs like a proper, proper reborn. Look at my baby boy, and he's all mine. His head turns, his arms move, you can position him. Look at him, just, I'm speechless. Look at him. Again, just because he's a clay, you know, but you can cuddle him. I can dress him. I've ordered him some new clothes. I was kind of hoping she'd start doing clothes as well, but she's probably busy. And I haven't finished because my little boy's got hair. Oh, yes, he has. I'm sorry about all the stained yellow and red on my hands. I promise you it is dry. I wouldn't be picking up my babies if it wasn't. <laughs> Let's get my little boy over here. Oh, oh, I love him. I love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. And, and honestly, guys, her work, you know, is phenomenal and they are affordable. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for Joshua because I don't think that's fair on the artist. Um, I don't know why her work isn't getting recognition it deserves. 
because it's phenomenal. Um, what you see is what you get. You know, you get an honest um, photography and the box opening. I got a fantastic, um, which I've got, which I keep all the baby clothes in. I got a little trunk made of roses. There was love hearts in there. There was, it smelled beautiful. He's got a homemade toy. Let me show you his homemade toy. She's She's done all this. She's done all of this. This is clay. Look at it. This is Joshua's bed. I'll do a thing on Tallulah. The lady that makes the baskets doesn't want her information given out. So all I can say to you is go on to eBay and they're around $7.99 without postage. So there we go. So you want to know. I kind of do want to tell you who made him and I kind of don't. In case she does another jointed one. <laughs> I'm going to have to say to her, can you tell me first? There's Joshua. Full, he's got full movement. Full movement. You can, if, you know, I can't do it with one hand and I'm not. And don't don't think, oh, clays are, you know, they're too fragile. No, they're not. Of course be gentle. But they're not. They're not. To the point where you can't pick them up. So... Oh, let me just get my babies out of the sun. Oh, they're still in the sun. Hold on. I really panic if, if the boys are in the sun. Okay. And he's still in the sun. So Joshua and Georgie Porgy was done by 180 Mills. That's who you need to be looking for on eBay. 180 Mills. And she's the artist that has done these two pieces of exquisite artwork. Um, I know you might think, oh, you get overexcited. No, I don't. I just know that the love and the passion that's gone into these two little boys, you know, you can see it, you can feel it. Gorgeous. And I'm so privileged. I, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to own two of your pieces of artwork. And I hope to earn or in the future. Alright guys, keep smiling. Say bye guys.